The SuperOffice chat feature can be used for different purposes and by different teams in your company. In this video, we will show you how you can create a new or edit an existing chat channel, how you can define the way it looks, how you can use pre and post chat forms in connection with live chat. To get started, log into SuperOffice and open the administrator client by clicking on settings and maintenance in the settings menu. Then click on chats in the navigation menu on the left hand side. This is where you will see all the chat channels that you have in use. A chat channel is simply the web page that holds your chat widget where your prospect or customers can initiate a chat with you. Typically, you have a channel per page, such as on the pricing or product page, or for example, one channel per language. You can add as many chat channels as you need. All you have to do is to click the Add button in the bottom left-hand corner. If you just want to edit an existing channel, click Edit in the bottom right corner. Let's begin by adding a new chat channel. It opens on the Properties page, which is where you can give your new chat channel a name. Then decide what language you want to use. Let's choose English for this example. Next, add a text message for the visitors to your website, inviting them to chat with you. For example, click here to chat with us. This text is shown on your website while the chat widget is closed. You add this text under Badge Header. Remember to add a description to your channel. Here is where you set how much time can pass before another team member or manager is notified that a new chat is waiting. Next, you want to define the employees that will respond to the incoming chats of this particular channel. We call them chat agents. To add new agents, you simply click on the arrow to reveal the drop-down list and choose the team member you wish to add. Make sure to set the correct rights each agent should have. To learn more about agent rights, see the Help section. In our example, we will add three agents and one of them is a manager. To configure the way your chat widget looks, click the Chat Widget Layout button. This is where you can choose what theme, color, and font you wish to use. Decide whether you want to show your company logo and whether a picture of your agents should be shown when they chat with your customers. Finally, add your header text and the message to your customers. The preview image will show you what the chat widget will look like so you can see the changes of the widget as you go. Next, you need to decide what it will say when none of your agents are available online to chat. This is what we call the offline form. You can invite customers to send you their question by mail, call you, or simply come back later. Better yet, you can also invite your customer to complete this form and send in his question as a request, which can be handled by your agents later. This option is only available to you if you use SuperOffice service or a complete user plan. Offering this option to your customers ensures that they will get help even if there aren't any chat agents available to help at the moment. You can also add a pre-chat form to your chat widget. A pre-chat form lets you ask some initial information from the customer before starting a chat session. Including a pre-chat form like this allows your agent to determine who the person is and whether he is already registered inside your database. This is particularly helpful when chatting with customers or suppliers, but can also be useful when chatting with new prospects. If you want to offer ready FAQ suggestions, you will also turn that functionality on through the pre-chat form. By adding a post-chat form, you can give your customers a final message as well as the opportunity to leave or continue to chat. You can also offer them a chance to receive a transcript of the conversation by email. All of these configurations allow you to define the customer experience that works best for your chat channel. Once you are happy with all the changes you have made, simply click Save. Now you have configured your chat widget and you are ready to add the chat widget to your website. To learn how to do this, please watch our next video, How to Add a Chat Widget to Your Site.